What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Fabulous Flourish and Faith, having fun, and I'm back with another video. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so when I post new videos, you won't miss any of them. Let's hop into the video. So for today's video, I decided to do something a little different and a little quick. I wanted to show y'all my deep conditioning routine using a new deep conditioner I just started trying out, and I really, really like it, so I decided to share with y'all. So I'm starting off on freshly shampooed hair, and this is what my hair is looking like straight after shampooing and drenched with water, and this is what it's looking like. So I like to make sure my hair is soaking wet before applying any product, especially my deep conditioner. So today's deep conditioner of choice is the Dew Whoa Deep Conditioning Mask Hydration Treatment. It has so many good things about it. It deeply penetrates beyond the cuticle to restore softness, strength, and elasticity. It delivers essential moisture to prevent breakage and aid in length retention. It has aloe, grapeseed oil, coconut oil, and keratin. Y'all, it's got some good stuff in here. It's a thick deep conditioner and it smells really, really good. Really good so if y'all know me y'all know I love thick deep conditioners and this definitely did the job it really kind of smells like candy it just smells really really good let me know in the comment section below if you want me to do a series where I just show one segment of my wash day per video so y'all can get an up close and personal feel on what I do during each wash day so I start off with my deep conditioning routine by sectioning my hair off into sections I normally do typically four to six sections really how many ever clips I can find y'all know me but this time I used about six clips so no the parts are not cute they do what they need to do so I start by taking down my first clip and I apply a hefty amount of deep conditioner and I make sure to kind of rub it in between my hands to make sure I can easily distribute it throughout my hair. So that's what I'm doing here and I'm just going to apply this to the whole section. I like to make sure I really focus on my ends as those are the, always the most exposed part of my hair. So I want to make sure that those are getting some deep conditioning as well. And I make sure I do the praying hands method to make sure the deep conditioner is getting through all my hair. As you can see, the curls are popping and they are juicy. So I kind of just twirl this section up and put it in a light bantu knot and then I reapply the clip and I go on to the next section and do the same process over again. So a good amount of deep conditioner, rub it in between my hands and I start to go ham on my hair and make sure I'm getting the deep conditioner all over my section. So again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so when I post new videos, you won't miss any of them. And y'all, make sure y'all comment in the comment section below if you want to see more videos like these where I focus on one process of my wash day. So like if I just do my how I shampoo my hair one day, and then how I condition my hair one day, how I leave in conditioning. Just let me know if you want me to do a series like that and let me know in the comment section below. So this is what my hair is looking like after I applied the deep conditioner on each section. I got it nice and wrapped tight and I am ready to start the next step of my deep conditioning routine. So I start by taking one section down at a time and I unravel my section and then I go in with my tangle teaser. Now this is key, especially for my deep conditioning routine to make sure my hair is fully detangled while I have deep conditioner on my hair. I find it very important to use a tangle teaser during my deep conditioning process because it helps to really detangle my curls in a quicker fashion and it helps to clump my curls as well. So after that, I two strand twist the section up and then I go on to the next section. I know this process might seem kind of long, but over time, once you do it for a long time, it kind of get the hang of it and it kind of goes by a lot faster. But I like to make my wash days my kind of self-care days. So I light a candle. I'll make sure I'm playing some music just to make sure I'm giving my whole wash day experience a self-care experience. That's what I really love about my wash days. Let me know in the comment section below, do y'all do a self-care day when you do your wash day? You just take the time to really take care of your hair and take care of yourself when you do your wash day. So let me know in the comment section below. Now that I've finished detangling all of my hair with the two strand twist now in, this is what it's looking like all around. The parts look a little bit better now. So now it's time for me to rinse it out. Sometimes I rinse my hair with the twist in and sometimes I don't. It just depends on how I'm feeling. So as you can see, I took the twist loose during this particular wash day. It's just how I'm feeling. But I like to make sure I'm rinsing my hair thoroughly to get all of the deep conditioner out. And like I said before, I love for my hair to be soaking wet. So this is my hair straight after rinsing out my deep conditioner and I mean look at it. I wish y'all could touch my hair through the screen. It is so soft and bouncy. 
defined, moisturized, hydrated. I mean, I know y'all see that steam coming off the screen. That means the hair in the water is penetrating my scalp, my hair. I mean, I love it. And yes, my hair is low porosity, so you see the little water beads, but that's okay. That's why I like to make sure my hair is soaking wet, but it looks so good and it smells so good. But that's it. I hope you enjoy my deep conditioning routine. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, because over here, we're fabulous, flourishing, having fun. Bye.